This is Gilgit. It was once a thriving trading center on the ancient Silk Route. Today it's not on any main route and tourism has slumped with the country's political instability. Getting products out of here adds to costs. As a result, most of what is produced here is eaten here. That's called subsistence farming, and subsistence means poverty, especially for the women whose status is many notches below the men in this conservative society. Enter the Hashu Foundation, a non-profit organization set up by the Hashwani family. Chair Sarah Hashwani wants to see some changes in these remote communities. To make this happen, the foundation began giving training in beekeeping. Crucially, the Hashu Foundation was also able to link these remote honey producers to lucrative markets in Pakistan's five-star hotels. We're not interested in just helping them earn more money, but we want to see that their children are better educated, that their children have access to health care, that they have better sanitation in the house, they have access to better nutrition. It's been close to a year that we started the project. We've seen a tremendous difference in the life. The Hashu Foundation is helping women from every region of Pakistan, irrespective of their ethnic backgrounds, to become earners and providers, rather than rely on handouts and resort to begging in the streets. Their mission is not just to train women in appropriate skills, but to help change the conservative mindset of their husbands. Since winning World Challenge in 2008, the Women's Empowerment Through Beekeeping project has spread to other valleys in the northern areas, now renamed Gilgit Baltistan. To date, more than 600 women have been trained. Here in the area, literacy rate is very low. And uh, the employment opportunities are very rare. But now, with the help of such projects, and the women folk come together with the male in their uh, to work shoulder to shoulder. And I think it's a good omen. This group of 50 women trainee beekeepers are on the second day of a one-week training course. On completion, they'll be awarded the tools needed to start their business. Before we were trained, when a bee came towards us, we were scared stiff. Now we feel very comfortable with them. We think of them as our children. We love them. The five men on the course are learning how to support the women in the heavy labouring work involved when hives have to be transported to follow the blossom season as it progresses through the valleys. Beekeeper Hamida Abuzar and her husband have four children, one of whom has left the valley to study in the capital city Islamabad. But the fees are a significant expense for a mountain family like this. Before my wife started her honey business, I faced a lot of problems to earn enough to pay my son's college fees. Now she's earning money, it has taken the financial strain from me as we both share the expenses of our home and family. Thanks to her business, we are leading a happier and more peaceful life and we have also become much closer to one another.